this section, I would like to give you basic information about this session. The purpose of this session is to introduce you STM32 Cube IDE tool. Its installation process we will focus on Windows platform, its basic configuration and first run. During the first run we will toggle one of the LEDs present on the board. The next purpose is, uh, is to demonstrate to you the main components of STM32 Cube IDE, device, con device configuration, code processing and project debugging. Within this session we have prepared some set of examples using HAL, so hardware abstraction layer, and low layer libraries. Let's talk about the prerequisites for this session. The first and most important one uh, is of course the PC with uh, pre-installed STM32 Cube IDE software and uh, STM32 G0 Cube library. We have selected STM32 G0 71RB microcontroller as a to practice during this session. This is why this library is a key uh, to allow us to generate the code and uh, prepare some set of examples. From hardware point of view, you would need uh, one Nucleo board. It is called Nucleo G071RB. You can see it on the screen. And one micro USB cable, which allows us to connect this board to, the, to your PC. Complete list of prerequisites and a link to all of the materials, slides, uh, exercises, hands-ons, you can find on the dedicated web page for this session. A link to this web page I have put to, within the description of this video. More information about our other STM32 devices, other tools, you can find on a dedicated web page which is uh, which contains all the information about our training materials. You can easily find it on the on the web using this address www.st.com slash stm32 education and within MOOC section you can have a look on a complete set of available training sessions. I will start from standard ST web page. This is uh, our current ST web page. Let's go to mentioned web page with the of trainings www.st.com slash stm32 education if I will scroll down I can see uh, some additional icons which I can select you can find here online trainings which are theoretical trainings for all of the other our stm32 products let's have a look what's what we can find here. You can find here some set of uh, online trainings, theoretical trainings uh, for STM32 F7, STM32 L4, L4 Plus, uh, G0 and WB microcontrollers. Let's come back to our um, previous page. The other icons represent other areas which could be interesting for you. The next one is so-called MOOC, Massive Open Online Courses. This is the area where we we place all of our online trainings, which contains some set of examples as well and hands-on sessions. Those are hosted at the moment on, YouTube, on our YouTube channel, so there is, it is quite easy access uh, to them. If you click on this icon, you will see the dedicated page for our, on our online courses. You can find here five different groups of trainings. Basics, STM32 tools, STM32 lines, applications and tips and tricks. You can start from basics if you are new uh, with an STM32 world. Then you can find some dedicated sessions about STM32 tools. Then uh, if you are interested in the STM32 uh, lines like L4, F7, uh, G0, L0, you have uh, some set of uh, dedicated training sessions of those microcontrollers. Then within applications, uh, we are presenting some dedicated sessions on uh, LoRa, graphics, motor control, USB, uh, so dedicated areas of microcontrollers usage. Within tips and tricks, you can find um, uh, some selected topics uh, which could be interesting for you within microcontrollers world, like ultra low power handling, um, dynamic uh, tools and in application programming or security basics. This uh, list uh, is quite dynamic. Uh, we are adding more trainings 
each month so please visit it regularly uh, to be up to date all of the sessions right now are hosted on our ST Microelectronics YouTube channel. This page and its sub pages, because here you can see the links uh, to each session, contains main information about the session, its prerequisites, uh, links to the materials which can be useful for you uh, to do the session. So if I click on this STM32 Cubemix training, uh, you can see a dedicated page when you can find basic information about the session, its outline, its agenda, a list of the prerequisites, a software and hardware, and you have you have the link as well uh, to access the course. If I click this link, I'm landing on the dedicated page uh, with the playlist of this session. So you can see here under the video, I'm repeating the basic information about the session. You can see the set of uh, videos for this particular training. Okay, let's start our adventure with STM32 Cubemix.